the bottom row. Here they are, up on top. Ladies, take a look. Alamogordo, New Mexico. The Pentagon, West Point, the Denver Mint. That's the top row. Bottom row, Betty White, are these. Jack Benny, Charlie Chaplin, Richard Burton, and Lyndon Johnson. What do you think, top or bottom row? Whoever said that we said we were trivia buffs, I don't, well, let's take, let's take Alamogordo and those You want to go with the top row? I'm surprised. I thought, sure, you'd take the, that's yes. all. Yes. I'm surprised, too. Nice. <laughs> You're really surprised. I think on our team. Oh, oh, surprised. Here's your question now, ladies. Most of the U.S. gold supply is kept at Fort Knox. Where is the bulk of the U.S. silver supply kept? Now, one of those answers up there is the right answer. As a team, you've got to cut all three wrong answers. If you do that, your team gets $300. So where's the bulk of the U.S. silver supply kept? Betty, cut a wrong answer. It's on the bottom row. It's Jack Benny. I, I think so. I think you're right. I'm going to cut West Point. You want to cut the answer West Please. Point? Please. Audience says that's a good idea. Okay. For our pretty ladies, can we cut West Point, please? No! It's kept at West Point. Can you believe it? That cadet lied to me. He said he was dead broke. He had money all the time. I can't post his mouth. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. 18 and a half million dollars worth of silver is kept at West Point. That's 140 times more silver than is kept in Philadelphia, which is the second largest depository. And they won't yeah. give you a dime Point. for the ladies' room. It's just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you don't get any money that time, oh, ladies. And let's go right over to the gentleman and Tom post them. You'll have to make the choices for your team. I choose for my team. Let's see, we can't Not go... Yet, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Ian has to give you another choose. category. You know what's oh, in the bottom oh. row, Tom. Take a look at the top row. See if you like these. <laughs> Virginia, Arizona, Florida, and Wyoming. What do you think, Tom? Top or bottom row? Uh, all women's names in Virginia, Arizona. Well, I'll take the bottom row. We'll go to the bottom row. All right, all right yeah. with the audience. I don't know anything. Gentlemen, here's your question. What famous personality provided in his will that his widow would receive a rose every day for the rest of her life? Uh, Eliminate uh, a wrong answer. I'm eliminating the answer of Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin. Okay. See if you can do it. Cut the answer, Charlie That's Chaplin. Good you did it. You did it. That's a good and you wouldn't get a stick. Yes. You wouldn't be doing nothing. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Bob. How's your golf game? Terrible. Not as I bad played as with mine. some guy at North Ranch a couple weeks ago, <laughs> shot 107. You lied His initials are Bob Eubanks. Leave me alone. <laughs> Oh, and that was just a top nine, a front nine, yeah. Cut a wrong answer, James. Okay. I'm, I, you said his uh, single rose to his wife. Yeah, it was in well, his will that his okay, widow would well, receive Richard a rose. Richard Burton had a lot of wives, so there'd be an awful lot of roses. I'm going to cut Richard Burton. Richard Burton, okay. Yeah. Let's cut the answer, then. Richard Burton. Good decision. You're going to come up with the right answer now. Remember, Remember this, this man, in his concerned. will... And his will said that his widow would receive a rose every day for the rest of her life. Well, knowing how Cut he felt about her, answer, knowing how he felt about her, and because she was so important to his career, I'm I'm cutting now, right? I'm yes, cutting the incorrect cut the wrong answer. answer. Right. I am going to cut Jack Benny because I'm sure Jack we Benny. Yes, well, I don't like to do that. Well, well for three hundred dollars well. for our celebrity gentleman, cut the answer, Jack Benny. <laughs> Well, then I'm going Jack to Benny. cut, if you, I'll cut. <laughs> well, cut <laughs> Lyndon Johnson now? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little late. Yeah, it, it was stipulated that a red rose would be delivered every day. And, and Jack called his wife his doll, to my doll, yeah. every day, oh, to his wife, Mary Lovely. 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 You cut two wrong answers, you get $100. You're on your way there, gentlemen. $100 no, for the guys over there. Ladies, you have to win any money. We're going to give them a chance to do that when we come back. A more trivia trap right after this. Sit down. Welcome to Drive Across America, brought to you by CarShield. I'm your host, Chris Berman. CarShield makes sure you don't pay for expensive car repairs. We all know the cars will break down, and if your car is out of warranty, those expensive repairs could really be a disaster. That's where CarShield comes in. With coverage through CarShield, you'll never have to pay for covered repairs again, which is why I'm a very happy customer. Now, let's hear from the fans. How has CarShield helped you? I saved $6,000 on my engine. Wow, and what about you? They saved me $3,500 on my AC compressor. 
Ah, well, you heard it here, folks. Car Shield is America's number one auto protection provider for a reason. When your car's check engine light comes on, that could spell big trouble for you and your wallet. An engine, transmission, or computer system breakdown could cost you thousands of dollars. But with CarShield, you'll never pay on covered repairs. CarShield covers practically all makes and all models, new or used. The first three months, we saved $4,100. CarShield saved me $7,000 on an engine and $3,000 on a transmission. I saved $4,100 out of pocket. CarShield's protected over a million Americans from expensive car repairs. It's the coverage that virtually pays for itself. If your car is out of warranty, you're at risk of getting stuck with expensive car repairs. Call CarShield now and get towing, roadside assistance, and rental car coverage at no extra cost. That's our show today, but don't drive another second without protection from CarShield. Why do we love CarShield? CarShield cars go farther! Now it's the time to make the smart choice and protect yourself from sky-high auto repair bills. Call now for a free and instant protection plan quote. It's only a matter of time until repairs are needed. And once your car breaks down, it's too late. Call 800-587-9409. 800-587-9409. We'll be going on a journey together, stretching back a couple thousand years. Hi, I'm Drew Brees, former NFL quarterback. And I invite you to download the Pray.com app to listen to my bedtime Bible story about the birth of Jesus. Ooh, that's really cool. Check that out. Bespoke Post sends you awesome boxes every month for a great price, and I love it. The variety is great. I love how easy and flexible it is. Head to BespokePost.com and get a free gift with your first box when you enter code free. The honeymoon ain't over until it's over. Because all's fair in love and Whoopi. Who fantasizes more during Whoopi? You're asking for the honest answer. But I'm not asking to be a witness at your divorce ceremony. The Newlywed Game with Bob Eubanks. Weeknights at 9.30 on Buzzer. Let's play. And it's the guys against the girls, the gentlemen. They have $100. Ladies yet to win any money, but we're going to give them the opportunity to do that in just a moment. Remember, it's the team that makes it to $1,000 that wins the game and goes on to play for a possible $10,000 for their favorite charities. And let's go right back to our ladies. Vicki Lawrence, hi, neighbor. Are so you ready? So far, our charities are not doing well. We don't worry about a thing. You've seen the top the row. Fight. You've seen the top row. Yes. Take a look at the bottom row now. New group for you. Gerald Ford's daughter, mm -hmm. Harry Truman's daughter, Franklin Roosevelt's son, Ronald Reagan's son. Mm -hmm. Top or bottom for me, Vicki? Mm -hmm. Bottom. Oh, okay. I, we'll, we'll try the bottom. What the bottom row? Okay, ladies. Time Ugh. to do some catching up. Here's your question. Ugh. The child of a U.S. president wrote a mystery novel called Murder and the First Lady. Who was that child? Cut all three murder. wrong answers, you get $300. Vicki, you began. First murder lady. and the first lady. Murder and the first lady. Well, I'm going to cut yeah. Ronald Reagan's son. You want to cut the answer to Ronald yeah. Reagan's son? Yeah. All right, for the ladies, let's do that. Cut Ronald Reagan's son. Oh. You did good. Good guess. I'm out of here. Good, good. Jane good. Meadows, nice to have you on our show. You, cut a wrong answer. Well, it was lovely until just now to be here. <laughs> Let me see. I think I will cut. Harry Truman. Ah! Oh! <laughs> no? You know? No, wait a minute. Uh, I, it's you too know? late. <laughs> Margaret Truman? Are you all right, Betty? Oh, Betty. Surely Betty, you would lose You know? Harry Truman's daughter. Did Margaret Truman? Oh, dear. Yes. Ah! No, it's you my turn right. to scream. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> <laughs> I guess it wasn't the answer that made her oh, yell. I don't know what it was. Ah! Betty. <laughs> Listen, I, is this fella staying here all during the show? Yes, he does. Oh, is he still down there? He is, he's still down there. <laughs> okay, the child of a U.S. president wrote a mystery novel called Murder and the First Lady. Who was that child? One more answer remains that's wrong. Cut I'm that going answer. to cut Gerald Ford's daughter. Gerald Ford's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> we have the only deaf sound man in the history of television. Or maybe not. So you think that the correct oh. answer is Franklin Roosevelt's son, obviously. No, she thinks the correct answer is Harry Truman's Let's daughter. <laughs> Gerald Ford's daughter. Right, you are, buddy.
it was, it was written, by the way, by Elliot Roosevelt. No, the novel was released in early no, 1984 when he was 73 years old. But the correct answer is Elliot Roosevelt, wow. Franklin Roosevelt's son. And the ladies have $300. The guys have $100. And Jamie. Yes, sir, Robert. You, your turn to make the decisions. You know what's up on the top. Take a look at the bottom row, guys. New group. I know it's up at the top. The bottom is Pigeon the top. feet, deer organs, potato skins, and crow. I wouldn't eat any of those. It's so funny. Take it. You want the bottom? Find out about so this. Funny. I didn't oh, know a deer could play an organ. Yeah. I think that's, <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> well, you know what? Never mind. Never. <laughs> Just reminisce. Edit, edit, edit. edit. <laughs> There's an expression. He had to eat humble pie. Uh, yes. yes. There really is a humble pie. What <laughs> does it consist of? I'm going to try uh, taking off my pigeon feet. Pigeon feet. Okay. Yes. You go right ahead and do that. Yeah, Let's get the answer. Good. Pigeon feet. Yes, you were right. <laughs> Don't tell him there really is a humble pie. What does it consist of? I Mind know you the wrong answer. I've been consuming a lot of it so far, right here. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to go by the process. We want, I'm going to eliminate an answer right here, yes, as I are. did so brilliantly the last time, and say deer organs. Deer organs. Deer organs, right. Humble pie is made of Wurlitzers. The audience <laughs> seems to agree with you, Bill. All right, I cut hope so. deer organs. There you go. Oh, no! No. Vicki Lawrence knew that. You I would think that? any I organs would be yeah. deer, wouldn't yeah. you? Isn't that interesting? No, no it's not. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with deer organs. Skin. That's what humble pie... Let me tell you about it. The expression humble pie arose from the fact that in the early days, the servants and the hunters were given the organs of the deer called umbles. Right. Is that why they say when you lose your series, you become humble? You become humble. Humble. Yes. 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 And you call you everybody a deer. All right. <laughs> you did cut cruel. one incorrect answer, so give them another $50 if you do that for me. Please, the gentlemen have $150. The ladies have $300. You're out in front. The goal is to get to $1,000, and the way you reach that goal is by playing our $1,000 trivia race, which we will do in just a moment. But no one chose that group of answers up there. Virginia, Arizona, Florida, and Wyoming. Wyoming, which means we get a chance to play the game with you at home. Let's see how well you play Trivia Trap. Here's the question now. What was infamous gangster Ma Barker's real first name? Is the correct answer Virginia, Arizona, Florida, or Wyoming? We'll give you the answer and come back and play a $1,000 Trivia Race. Right after This is an important message for everyone on Medicare. Today we are talking about Medicare Part C, commonly called Medicare Advantage. If you don't have a Medicare Part C plan, call now because there may be plans with additional benefits available that are simply not covered under Medicare Parts A and B. That's right, there are people on Medicare but don't have a Medicare Part C plan, which covers everything in Part A and Part B, plus extra benefits in Medicare Part C. Here's the good news. If you're on Medicare, you can call even if you called last year. We will check to see if there is a Part C plan available in your area with additional benefits. If you're losing coverage, moving, or new to Medicare, call to speak with a licensed insurance agent during the special enrollment period. You don't get Medicare Part C benefits automatically, so call now for your free 2022 no-obligation Medicare benefits review. Just call 800-864-1870. 800-864-1870. This is an important message for everyone on Medicare. Today we are talking about Medicare Part C, commonly called Medicare Advantage. If you don't have a Medicare Part C plan, call now because there may be plans with additional benefits available that are simply not covered under Medicare Parts A and B. That's right, there are people on Medicare but don't have a Medicare Part C plan, which covers everything in Part A and Part B, plus extra benefits in Medicare Part C. Here's the good news. If you're on Medicare, you can call even if you call last year. We will check to see if there is a Part C plan available in your area with additional benefits. If you're losing coverage, moving, or new to Medicare, call to speak with a licensed insurance agent during the special enrollment period. You don't get Medicare Part C benefits automatically, so call now for your free 2022 no-obligation Medicare benefits review. Just call 800-864-1870. 800-864-1870. Hunger Root is here, and I needed it because my fridge is super empty. I'm going to open the box. That's the exciting part. Hungry Root came through. And my refrigerator is packed.
the trivia yeah, yeah, How do you do with that question? Remember the question? What was the infamous gangster Maul Barker's real first name? Well, let me tell you, if you said Arizona, you were absolutely right. That's a real first name, Barker. Arizona Donnie Clark Barton. Jamie Farr thought her first name was Bob Barker, but it wasn't. So anyway, let's go back to our contest now. Our celebrities are playing for their charities. The gentlemen have $150. The ladies have $300. The goal is to get to $1,000. The way to do that is to play a $1,000 trivia race. This is where the excitement really begins. So come with me and let's play the race right now. $1,000. The winners then get a shot at $10,000 for their favorite charities. And the ladies are out in front. They have $300 in the trivia race. Every question is worth $100. After the 10th question, though, the values then double. Now, each team will have three chances to come up with the correct answer. If all three of you miss, well, then control goes over to the other team. So, ladies, we're going to start with you. Betty White, you get to pick a question first. Will it be coins, shooting, or bridges? Lloyd Bridges. You want bridges. <laughs> Remember, each question is worth $100. You have $300. You're trying to get to $1,000. Here's your question. What's the final line of every verse of London Bridge? Vicky. Uh, uh, My Fair Lady. My Fair Lady is right. Yes. yes. <laughs> Jane Meadows, pick a question. Coins, shooting, or quote? Uh, Jane. Oh, you're looking at me? Yes. Uh, coins, is... shooting, or quote, Jane? Oh, I'll take quote. Quote it is. Ladies, here's your question now. This above all, to thine own self be true, comes from what famous play? Well, it's a Shakespearean play. Oh, dear. Uh, it's from, uh, from, from, from uh, the, the, the Razor's Edge. Biggie Lawrence. <laughs> Hamlet? Hamlet's yes! right. Yes! Save your team. Yes. yes. <laughs> you have $500. Yes. Again, Jane, we want you to pick a question. Coins, shooting, or name? Name. Name, name it is. All right, ladies, you have 500. Trying to get to 1,000. What was the name of the character Clifton Webb portrayed in three different movies, the first of which was Sitting Pretty? Oh, dear, oh. I have no idea. Oh. Ready? Belvedere. Belvedere. Lynn oh. Belvedere is right. Yes. Now, $600 for the ladies. Vicki Lawrence, pick a question. Shooting. Shooting it is. Who shot and wounded Alabama Governor George Wallace? Oh, um... Oh. Jane. I have no idea. Oh, oh was Betty that White. blonde kid? Did Tom something? Yeah. Oh, Arthur Bremer. Bremer. Oh, Arthur they Bremer. They call him Tom for short. Sorry. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're frozen at $600. That means control goes over to the guys. Tom Poston, pick a question. What do we get? Animation. Animation it is. You've got $150. You're trying to get to 1000 On the television cartoon series, The Flintstones, what did Pebbles wear in her hair? A bone. A bone's right. You got oh, it. Okay. Right. Now $250. Jimmy Carr. Archie. Archie. Gentlemen, in the comic strip, Archie, where do Archie and his friends go to high school? Nate, Nate, Barry, Bill, H Hudson High. Incorrect. Tom Poston. Ridgemont. Who knows? Oh. Very close. Riverdale High. Oh, You're close at two hundred and fifty dollars. Control now goes back to the ladies. Vicky Lawrence, pick a question. Uh, singers. You have six hundred. You're trying to get to a thousand. What performer's autobiography is titled "Who's Sorry Now"? <laughs> Jane. Well, I'll just say Sinatra. I don't. Incorrect. Betty White, save your team. Miss um, Sophie Tucker. No. <laughs> Honey Francis. Right. Frozen at $600. Uh, right, right, thank right, you. Right, right. Back to the gentleman you've got, we go. You've got the money now. Jamie. Yeah. Pick a question. Uh, is it me? Yes. Prime time. Prime time. All right, you have 250 Trying to get to 1000 The opening of the hit series Remington Steel shows a large fingerprint, a gun, and something else. What is it, Jamie? A magnifying glass. Incorrect, Bill. The girl. No. Tom. I don't know. We're doing very well. Back a up. red lip print. Back to oh, us. You're frozen no, at two hundred and fifty dollars. Back to the ladies we go. Vicky, pick a oh, question. Oh no, voice. Voice. <laughs> you have six hundred. You're trying to get to a thousand. In what movie did he? Did we hear Charlie Chaplin's voice for the first time? For sake. Oh. I have no idea. Jane. <laughs> Betty White. The Great Dictator. No, sorry. Modern time. Again, you're frozen at 600. Back to the gentleman, Jamie Farr. Oh, I get this start again, yes. huh? Vice President. Vice President, you have 250. Trying to get to 1,000. Here's your question. Who was President of the United States when Hannibal Hamlin was Vice President? Uh, uh, Tip of Canoe. Incorrect. <laughs> Bill. Millard Fillmore. Sorry again. Tom. James K. Polk. Incorrect. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. Abraham, oh, Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. That was the yeah. tenth question. Hereafter, every question is worth $200. Control back what to the ladies and Vicki Lawrence. Pick a question. Sally. Sally, for $200. <laughs> Ladies, you have $600. Sally Fields starred in the TV series The Flying Nun. What was The Flying Nun's name? 
James? Sister Jennifer, sister... Incorrect, Betty White. Maria. No. <laughs> sister Bertrell. Oh, it's so obvious. Back to the gentleman, Jenny Farr, with two hundred fifty dollars. Pick one. All right, uh, uh, let's go with coins. Yeah, coins. You have. You were running out of the other two fifty. <laughs> trying to get to a thousand for the first time in over two, 20 years. A U.S. commemorative coin was minted in nineteen eighty-two. Who did that coin honor? Oh, we got it. Uh, uh, oh, we got it. Uh, <laughs> Susan Anthony. Incorrect. I'm sorry, oh. Tom. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> George Washington. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, two fifty. Back to the girls again. Oh my God. Geography. Geography for two hundred dollars. What U.S. state is the farthest south? Florida. Incorrect, Jane. Uh, no, Hawaii. Hawaii's right. Yes. Okay. Now you've got eight hundred dollars. Betty White, pick a question. Old TV. Old TV. This is for the game and a chance to play for ten thousand dollars for your charity. What was the original title of the TV comedy series, The Danny Thomas Show? Uh, make room for dead. You've got it, yes! Yeah. And ladies win the game! Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And one more gentleman, you end up with $250. The ladies have $1,000. And the men are going to climb our trivia ladder where they'll try to win $10,000 for their favorite charity. We'll be right back. Stunning. You did this? You could totally be a designer. Rugs USA is my secret weapon. They make it easy to find a rug that pulls a room together. Wait, are these prices for real? Yes. Go to rugsusa.com slash TV for an extra 10% off now. Always free shipping. Today, women with nighttime urinary incontinence don't have to wake up wet. Introducing the PureWick system. An innovative breakthrough system for managing female urinary incontinence at night. Good morning, Mom. Good morning. How did you sleep? Better, thank you. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, good. The Pure Week system works outside the body to draw urine away, helping to keep skin dry and control odor. The Pure Week system is a non-invasive option for management of moderate to severe urinary incontinence, helping to reduce the need for multiple changes at night or trips to the bathroom. Now, staying dry can be one less thing to lose sleep over. Order online at purewickathome.com and save up to 10% on your first starter set. Or call 800-804-9862 for more information. That's purewickathome.com. My car is my after-work decompression zone. So when my windshield broke, I found the experts at Safelite Auto Glass. They have exclusive technology and service I can trust. Safe Safe like replace. Replace. Welcome back to Tibble Tap All Star Celebrity Week this week, and the ladies won the game. Congratulations to you, ladies. Now, your chance to play for $10,000 for your favorite charity, and good luck to you. Now, our winner, up until now, you've been playing as partners, but now you're going to be playing on your own, trying to win money for your favorite charity. And Vicki Lawrence, who are you playing for? What charity? Um, some awfully nice people at the Los Angeles Children's Hospital. Oh, that's great. How about you, Betty? The Morris Animal Foundation in Denver, Colorado. Wonderful. Jane? I'm playing for McLaren Hall. It's a home for abused children locally here. Great. All right. Here's your chance to win some money for your charity. Now, your positions over here have been determined by your success in the trivia race. Vicki, you're in the number one slot. That means you get a chance to play or pass on the first set of answers. Let's begin our climb right now. Up our trivia ladder as we go to the first level. And take a look, if you would, please, Vicki, at these answers. Mini skirt, sack dress, topless bathing suit, pantyhose. Do you want to play or do you want to pass? Only because I can't stand to wait any longer. I'm going to play and just get you're gonna it over. You're going to play. All right. <laughs> The question is yours for $1,000 and a chance to play for $10,000 for your charity. Here's the question. What female garment did Christian Dior introduce in the 1950s? I need the correct answer. I'm going to say the sack dress. Sack dress, you say? Oh, shut up. <laughs> it's for $1,000 and a chance to play for $10,000 is the correct answer, the sack dress. Yes. For children's hospital. Can I rest now? No, stay right there and oh. rest. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh. Let's go to the next level of the ladder. And Betty, you're going to have to make the choice oh. this time. Here we go. 
Ranger, Saddle, Gipper, Rawhide. Betty, you have the same choice to make. You can play or you can pass them on to Jane. What would you like to do? Oh, let's play. You want to play? Okay, question again. For $1,000, a chance to play for 10 what is President Reagan's Secret Service code name? Is the correct answer Ranger, Saddle, Gipper, Rawhide? Secret Service code name. Well, it seems a little obvious, so I'm going to say, uh, well, I'll say the obvious, Gipper. Gipper, you say? The you say. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. $4,000, a chance to play for 10. Is it Gipper? Oh, no. It was too obvious. It's it Rawhide, Betty. My raw second choice high. was Ranger, so good luck. <laughs> okay. Jane, now yes. it's your turn. Oh, Let's go boy. to the next level of the ladder, and these oh. are your answers. Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, oh, wow. R2-D2, Chewbacca. Here's the question. In the Star Wars saga, what character's real name is Anakin Skywalker? Anakin Skywalker. I need the correct answer, please, Jane. Well, R2-D2 was in Star Wars, and I imagine that's it. R2-D2? Oh, I, I see. hope so. For $1,000. Is it R2-D2? <laughs> no, it's not. Darth Vader was the answer we were looking Darth for. Darth Vader? Darth Vader. That means that, Vicki, you have the $1,000. You have a chance to play for the $10,000. Let's go right to the top now and see if you can't win $10,000 for Children's Hospital. Quarter, dime, nickel, penny. Those are the answers. Here's the question. On which of these U.S. coins does the portrait face the right? On which of these U.S. coins does the portrait face the right? Is the correct answer quarter, dime, nickel, or penny? Good heavens. I feel so stupid. You don't look stupid, huh? Vicki, you don't need to lock it in. You're the only one that's there, so you just You're give me the answer yourself. if you would, please. Shoot. I, I, I th face the right. I'll say quarter. Quarter. I hope so. I hope for so. Children's Hospital. So. For $10,000 is the correct answer, the quarter. <laughs> no. It's the it's the penny. Oh, it's the on penny. On the penny. The nickel would have been my oh. There are 119 grooves on the edge of a quarter, but on the penny, they face the right. Be right back with more Trivia Tap. Just a Shriners Hospital for Children is awesome. My favorite people in Shriners are the doctors and the nurses because they help people through life. Wow. I was a really cute kid. <laughs> But it's true, Shriners Hospitals for Children is awesome. The first time I went to Shriners Hospitals for Children, I was two months old. Since then, they have helped me with over 18 operations and thousands of rehabilitation hours. Because of their care, now I live a full, independent life. I got my driver's license, and I'm going to college. Your monthly gift provides me and so many other kids with the care we need to just be kids. When you call right now and give just $19 a month, only 63 cents a day, we'll send you this adorable blanket as a reminder of the journey you helped me make and the journey you're helping other kids make too. Please, do me a favor. Pick up the phone and call this special number to give your monthly gift or Go online to loveshriners.org right away to give your monthly support. It's amazing to know that there's someone looking out for me and my family. And it isn't just the doctors and nurses who have been looking out for me. It was you. When you call or go online to give, I know you care and are looking out for me and all my other friends at Shriners Hospitals for Children. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving. So let's keep this amazing story going with your monthly gift right now. What do you say? All you have to do is pick up your phone or go to loveshriners.org and you'll be a part of something special too. Thank you so much. We'll be back tomorrow. More celebrities on Trivia Talk. The guys will join us tomorrow. The ladies will be defending their crown. So long, everybody. See you tomorrow. Production. Here comes the fascinating world of trivia, where even a right answer can catch you in a trap. On this 
special celebrity edition of Trivia Track. Our male stars are ready, playing for the men's team, Jamie Farr, Bill Cullen, and Tom Colston. And our female stars are set to play, playing for the ladies' team, Vicki Lawrence, Jane Meadows, and Betty White. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our special All-Star Week of Trivia Trap. We're playing with some dear friends of ours who are trying to win money for their favorite charities. And let me tell you, it's the women playing against the men. Hmm. Versus. The fellas, versus. Boy, do you have you have big troubles. They were oh, yeah. wonderful yesterday. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Both they teams easy, easy for you to say. <laughs> well, that's true. Trap, right? Both teams are ready to play the color. game, right. so let's get right with it right now. And Vicki Lawrence, we're going to start right. with you. Oh, you guys good. won the game yesterday. I'm going to try to do it again today, maybe win $10,000 for your charities. Here's the way it works, Vic. I'll show you two rows of answers. Up on the top will be these answers. Take a look, if you would, please. America the Beautiful, Stars and Stripes Forever, Yankee Doodle, and Hail Columbia. On the bottom, Vicki Lawrence, are these. Cary Grant, Edgar Bergen, Lee Marvin, and Walter Cronkite. Now, which group would you like to play for? The top. You want the top row? Vicky, you sure? Ladies, here's your question. Hail to the Chief is the official song of the President of the United States. What song is played when the Vice President makes a public appearance? Now, one of those answers is the right answer. If your team can cut all three wrong answers, you'll begin with $300. So cut a wrong answer for me. What song is played when the Vice President makes a public appearance? Vicky? Well, I think we can cut Stars and Stripes Forever. Stars and Stripes Forever. Sounds mm -hmm. good to me. Let's do that. Cut Stars and Stripes Forever. <laughs> Don't Thank you. Good morning, Jane. Well, I think that we can cut Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle? Yeah. I think we can, too. Let's see if we're both right. Audience thinks so also. Yankee Doodle. Eliminate that one. sitting in this position. Yes, I have a panic in your eye, Betty. Oh, well, not <laughs> mine. So I think we can cut America the Beautiful. Yes. So you think Good the, answer. Good you answer. You think the correct answer is Hail Columbia. With then, any right? luck. Well, we'll see what kind of luck you have. America the Beautiful. Cut that one. <laughs> That's right. It's when the vice president, they play Hail Columbia, but the president gets a 21-gun salute. When the vice president steps forward, he gets a 19-gun salute, and the ladies get $300 because you're right on target. And let's go right to the gentleman. Jamie Farr, yes, how are you today? Yes, I'm fine. I'm, I'm awake. I'm, I'm ready to play. Are you ready? 